What's up everybody? Today I'm going to show you how to test video game USB controllers without a console. It's actually pretty simple. Uh, basically you just plug them in and then you go into the properties of the device and you can basically play around with it. This works for Guitar Hero controllers, uh, Xbox controllers, PlayStation controllers, uh, video game, like just regular joysticks, all kinds of stuff. And if you've sold controllers before in the past and you didn't test them and you ever had one uh, get to a customer that didn't work, it can uh, make people pretty angry and upset, especially with gamers. They're a fickle bunch, so it's always best to test your stuff before you try to ship it in. But anyway, let me show you how it's done. So today I'm going to be testing a wired Xbox 360 uh, USB controller. As you can see, most of these video game controllers, like even PS3, PS4, Xbox One, whatever, they all have standard USB connectors uh, if they're wired. So you can just plug any of those into a computer with Windows Vista or Windows 7 and do this. I'm not sure about 8 or 10, but uh, I imagine that this is a useful enough feature that they probably kept it in. Uh, but if you're trying to test like an Xbox One controller or a PS4 controller or a uh, PS3 controller, just make sure you have the right connector. Uh, Xbox Ones and a PS4 controllers just use a standard micro USB connector. PS3 controllers use the uh, generation before that, the mini USB, which really easy to find them everywhere. And Xbox 360 controllers, they have a proprietary uh, cable that they have to use for the wireless ones, but you know these are pretty easy to find. They're pretty cheap. Uh, it's good to keep one around if you're selling a lot of 360 controllers just so that you have something to test them with. But just to get started, pretty simple. You're just gonna, oh. Yeah, if your uh, Xbox 360 guitar or wired controller has this connector on it, then <laughs> it means that you lost the dongle that goes on the end. This plugs in to this. This is just a breakaway. Uh, I don't really know why Xbox does it. I guess so that if somebody trips over a wire in the middle of the living room, it just does that instead of throw, flinging the Xbox across the room. Uh, so without this, it's useless. You can't play the 360 or anything. But uh, anyway, you just plug it in. And... This already has the drivers installed, so you're just looking for uh, the little US detecting device, searching for drivers, all that stuff. And eventually when it says that the drivers have been installed, you're just going to go over to your taskbar and find the control panel. Go to View Devices and Printers. And you can barely see it over here, but there is a controller icon over here that says Guitar Hero Explorer. Uh, your icon is just going to match whatever controller you're trying to plug in usually, unless it's a really obscure controller. But you're just going to right click on that, go to Game Controller Settings, and click on Properties. Now you see this weird screen with all these buttons here, and this axis, Y axis, Z axis, all that stuff. And it'll look different for every controller. So, you just See the up and down there when I hit the the little flipper thing? And um, then when I hit the whammy bar, you'll see the X rotation. When I hit the directional pad, you'll see the arrows pop up. That's a good thing. And then the start button and the select button, the options button, whatever button it is. I don't know what they call it now. And then all of your regular buttons. Now when you're dealing with uh, Guitar Hero controllers, if you've got to push down the button really hard, or even Xbox controllers or any video game controller, if you got to push the button down really hard for it to get it to light up, then it's pr you definitely want to mention that in the ad. But, I mean, especially with Guitar Hero controllers, these are pretty sensitive. You need to really make sure that... Uh, they work really good and that they're really uh, sensitive otherwise when people are trying to play really high level guitar hero games and they're gonna be mad when the buttons don't work right but uh, 
anyway, that's it. It's really simple. It's really quick, and it's definitely worth doing for pretty much every controller uh, that you're going to try and sell on eBay or Amazon. And, you know, if you get one that turns out it doesn't work, I mean, it, depending on where you bought it from, either return it or, you know, you can also just throw them in a broken pile and then sell them in a lot of broken controllers and make something back. But anyway, that's it. Uh, hope you guys liked it. If you enjoyed the content, if you uh, like the tip, then hit that thumbs up button. And if you want to see more of this stuff, then you can just hit the subscribe button and you'll be alerted whenever I put up a new video. Uh, I do a morning show Monday, Wednesday, and Friday called The Reseller Wake Up. Hope to see you all there. Uh, anyway, thanks so much. We'll see you soon.